Hey guys, it's Cameron Meyer for you for the series premiere of the new Amazon series, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. This is season one, episode one. And what The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is essentially about is we center on our main character, Midge Maisel, and she's someone who basically has her whole life planned out. She lives in Manhattan, she's got a husband who... By day, he is this really unsuccessful lawyer, but by night, he is pursuing uh, stand-up comedy, and she very much supports him with that. And one day after this disastrous routine, he decides that he's actually going to leave her in the hopes of actually making it somewhat of a serious career. So she basically is left on her own and decides that she's going to actually pursue stand-up comedy. So The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel in general, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I knew nothing about this show going into it. All I know is that this had rave reviews after the pilot came out, and I tend to not watch the Amazon pilots solely because I don't know if that's actually going to become a real show. So I tend to stay away from it until they actually pick it up, uh, because if it's a show that I get hooked on, I mean, it's not going to become a real show. So I don't really see the point in, you know... Um, Start watching a pilot that's not going to become a real show, which is honestly why I'm glad that Amazon's saying they're probably going to refrain from releasing them to the public because it just is pretty much bad press for them. But Marvel's is amazing in general. Everyone's been praising, and I have been very excited to see how this series is. And after watching this series, after watching this first episode, yeah, it, it definitely deserves it. I mean, I as well absolutely love this show. I can't wait to see where the show is going to go. This is absolutely what Amazon needs to be doing. I've been saying this for so long now. You don't have to find the next big epic. All you need is a really damn good show. And from the looks of it, this could be, I think, Amazon's strongest show yet. But let's just get into this first episode, starting off with the cast. And right off the bat, that is absolutely the thing that really does uh, bring the show forward. I think the cast absolutely makes this show. It's a very character-driven show in that sense, and I think everyone really does a great job. But easily the standout is Rachel Brosnan as our main character, Midge Maisel, who is fantastic. I mean, she starts off the show, and she's your typical housewife. You know, she's someone who is very loving. She's very loyal to her husband. She's very dedicated, and she very much does support him and you can see the potential in her she writes a lot of his comedy routines she frequently gives him a lot of notes and things like that and everything seems to be going great for her and to see that completely stripped away from her is honestly heartbreaking especially how we see um again how dedicated she is and the everlasting devotion she really does have towards her husband and she really just does a great job here you can see what this really does do to her but rather than just let this you know completely destroy her she actually finds a way to turn her life around and it's it's this different kind of character that we haven't really seen before and I thought she did a really great job here she goes against so much of what makes up a typical 50s housewife and that's something I honestly really do love about her character she absolutely killed in this role I think she very well carries this show and uh, I haven't heard that much about this actress yet but after the show I definitely think we're going to because she absolutely killed it here as well as Michael Zegan as her husband, Joel, I thought he also was fantastic because he starts off the show, and you can tell this is a guy that just doesn't seem too happy. I mean, Midge is constantly telling him that, oh, we're just going to make this, you know, for fun, but you can tell that Joel isn't into that. And when it's eventually revealed that Joel actually wants to do this as, you know, something serious, and he actually wants to pursue stand-up comedy, you can tell what he's going through. I mean, sure, there really is no good reason for him leaving her, but the show does a really good job of getting you to kind of not sympathize with Joel, but understand where he's coming from. Show what he was really trying to do. Show that this is something that he is serious about. And I honestly really did like what he did here. I thought he did a great job here. And again, he could have come across as just a very douchey guy, but he comes across as someone who just isn't very happy with his life, hasn't made the greatest choices. And I thought their chemistry was very well done here. The two seemed like they were very much in love. I thought he did a really great job. And and uh, we're definitely going to see more of him because I know the, the, ne the other episodes do show their relationship in the past. And I really do love what he did here. And I thought he definitely did a great job.
And then the rest of the cast as well, I can't really say too much about. Alex Borstein, we only saw in one scene as his character of Susie, but she really was great. I thought she did a really great job. I really liked her parents, uh, Tony Shalhoub and Marin Hinkle, because these are your typical 50s parents. I mean, when they find out that Joel has left her, they blame it on her, and they tell her that, you know, you need to bring him back. You know, you're the reason why he left, and you can see that this absolutely destroys them. You know, they clearly have set a path for what they want their daughter to be and they've groomed her into a certain way and that's just not who she really is anymore and they don't really know what they want from her and I thought they did a really great job here I really like both Tony Shalhoub and Marin Hinkle they both really did kill it in their roles honestly the whole cast honestly does a great job there isn't really a weak character there isn't really a weak actor in the cast and that's something that very much stood out to me here but now let's get to the directing and the writing, because that is definitely another thing that really does make the show. The directing here is fantastic, because what I love about the show is that it is both a comedy and a drama, and I think they do a really good job with that. I'm sure there are many shows that do that, but this is one of the... Um, best sort of dramedies I've seen in a while, and it's mainly because it's focusing on stand-up comedy, but it's presenting both sides. It's presenting the more, uh, you know, silly side of stand-up comedy and what we do see, but also who those people are after they do the stand-up comedy and who they really are after that, and I thought they did a really good job with that. The comedy was handled very well, the drama was handled very well, and I really do like the hopeful, the hopeful tone exhibited throughout this first episode. Even when Joel leaves her, that hopeful tone does and stop. You know, you do see that, sure, it's sad what Midge is going through, but she remains very hopeful. She remains very independent and very much a go-getter, and I really loved it about her character. She really did a great job um, with that, and the writing in general, I love the way this episode was set up, because the way it's done, I really loved how much they really took their time here, you know, they get into the whole concept, and it takes about 30-something minutes for Joel to actually leave her, and to see his reasoning, and I thought it made a lot of sense to dive deeper into their relationship, and see, oh, how Midge and Joel, in general, um, you know, they always thought they were perfect for each other, and they got, and, you know, show from when they got married to him starting stand-up comedy and I thought it was smart that you know we have these little lines like Midge talking about how she thought that this was just something that they were doing for fun but for Joel it was a lot more and I thought that was very interesting that we saw that. I mean, sure, Midge is very supportive, but she never thought this was an actual career. She thought that he just simply did this as, like, a side thing, just for fun, and it's just something they did together. She didn't realize how passionate he really was about it, and I did think that was very interesting, and I really did love that scene. But I also love what the show has to say about stand-up comedy, when Joel is ripping off Bob Newhart and literally takes the exact same routine from Bob Newhart and says, oh, all comedians do that. But he's not wrong. I mean, a lot of stand-up comedy, you'll see people do um, rip off things a lot. People do very similar routines, and that's something that Joel, you can see, definitely does do. But he's also very lost. He seems like he can't really come up with his own material. Because again, Midge wrote most of it for him. Midge told him what to do. She's the one who gave him cues. So I do think we're going to see Joel pursuing comedy. I mean, I don't know if we see Joel... Um, anymore. I think he's the main character from here on out, but I'm interested in seeing really what does happen. Is he going to be able to pursue stand-up comedy on his own, and is he going to be able to do that without someone having to write a script for him? Because obviously, if he wants, if he's, you know, serious about this, he has to come up with his own material, and it doesn't really seem like something that Joel is exactly willing to do, and I am definitely interested in seeing really where that's going to go. But I also love what the show has to say about the 50s. You know, there's a lot of preconceived notions given who Midge really is. The fact that this is the 50s and the time period. There's a lot of things that she's doing that just doesn't seem right and doesn't seem like, oh no, that's something you definitely couldn't do. You know, you never saw someone who was divorced in the 50s. You never saw someone who was doing, you know, working on their own in the 50s. You know, you, you never saw that kind of stuff. That just... I mean, and sure, it happened in the 50s, but it just wasn't normal. It's not as, you know... 
a normal occurrence as it is today. That's something that I thought was very well done here. But the show wasn't preachy about it. It wasn't like, oh, look at all the, you know, look, look at all the things that are wrong here. Look at all the things that Midge isn't doing right. It wasn't in your face. It just felt very natural. And I really did love the way they told the story there. I thought it was honestly very well done. And the writing is just, it's so sharp. And there's so much great dialogue there. And the story in general, I just really ate up. And uh, I thought it was just, again, incredibly well presented. And even some of the smaller characters, like the character of Lenny Bruce, is someone who's been in comedy and tells her that the comedy business is terrible. But again, she doesn't let this get her down. It motivates her. It shows her that maybe she has a shot at this. You know, maybe she could actually be very successful. And I'm interested in seeing really where we do go there, how her and Susie are going to go, how Susie, this is someone who, at least, you know, what I got from her is that this is someone who tries to find great talent and she tries to find someone who's really good. But all they get is just just people who are really mediocre, people who aren't serious, and Midge is one of the only people who has a very natural talent, and I'm definitely interested in seeing where Susie does go. I really did like what we got with her character, and I thought she also did a really great job here. So, like I said, I could go on the writing uh, for a while, but the writing here is just fantastic. I thought they did a really great job with it. The cinematography, this is some of the most brilliantly well-realized uh, period pieces I've seen in a while. You really do get that 50s feel, whether it's the 50s music they're playing or the 50s costumes. Just everything about it, it feels like the 50s. You feel like you're watching something in in the 50s, and I think they did an incredible job with that. The score as well, I really do love here. I love the 50s music played throughout, and the editing. I thought this episode really flew by for me. It was like 53 minutes, and it really did fly by, and I can definitely see myself binging this very quickly. Honestly, guys, I don't have many complaints with this first episode. The only thing I could really say is that I thought it was a really good setup, and I think this is just a really strong start. I think this show can still do better, but I do think this was an extremely strong start. I am very excited to see where the show does end up going. It has so much potential. There's so many things that I really do want to know about. Like I said, is Midge going to be successful? Is Joel going to be successful? You know, uh, are they going to come in contact with each other again? Who has more success? success as a comedian, you know, will Joel, does Joel have a knack for comedy like Midge does, or is this just something that he thinks he's good at, but he really isn't, um, you know, are Midge's parents going to be, is, is she going to get them more on board with the idea that she's a stand-up comedian, you know, they seem like they have one path for her, and they're not going to let her do anything else, so is there a way that she can possibly convince them, I mean, there are just so many things that I am so interested in this series, I really loved everything about the first episode, and I'm definitely going to give the series premiere of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel overall in A. So we're guys from the series from The Marvelous This is Maisel. Let me know what you guys thought first episode overall. Love your thoughts. And like I said, guys, from here on out, I will be reviewing the season. I was going to try to review individually, but you know what? There's just so many things that I'm watching that I'd rather just binge this show. Uh, I can see myself binging this very quickly, and I really do want to get this done fast. So that's in my review. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you guys thought first episode overall. Love your thoughts. And if you haven't seen the show, go check it out. There are so many Amazon shows that are under people's radar. This should not be one of them. This is definitely the show I think that is going to propel Amazon forward, and I think this is definitely, you know, they've been trying to compete with Netflix for a while. They might have some competition here, because I think this could be the show that might be able to finally put them on top. I mean, they've had some hits here and there, like Man the High Castle, but no one really watches that. I mean, it's got, it's got a good fan base for sure, but... It's not, like, a huge fan base. It's not like everyone's talking about that show. Like, Netflix has The Crown um, and Stranger Things. Hulu has The Handmaid's Tale. And I think Amazon could really knock it out of the park with The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I think they definitely do have something good in their hands, and I just really hope they take advantage of it. But that's my review. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.